Hello friends. Good morning everybody. Now in this session, I am going to explain you excretion in plants. First of all, let's try to know the meaning of the word excretion. Excretion means elimination of waste materials or removal of waste materials out of our body. Excretion of waste material is an essential task of an organism. If the waste materials are not excreted out, then they become poisonous and they disturb all the metabolic activities of an organism and that leads to the death of an organism. So, elimination or excretion of waste materials is an essential task of an organism for its survival. So, excretion should be done in every organism. But here, especially in case of plants, do plants excrete or not? This is what our question here. Plants do excrete, but the excretion of plants is different from that of excretion of animals. Animals excrete the waste material regularly because they have some excretory organs or excretory systems or excretory cells or methods, anything they have. But in plants, not like that. Excretion process does not occur continuously. Plants do excrete waste material, but they do not excrete waste material regularly. They store the waste materials in different parts of the body. When the parts are detached out of the plant body, when the parts are separated from plant body, then the waste materials are excreted. Example, during the metabolism, so many kinds of waste materials are formed. All these waste materials are managed by the plant are stored in different parts of the plant body. Example, some waste materials are stored in leaves and some are stored in flowers and some are stored in roots and some are stored in stems like that. In different parts of plant body, the waste materials are stored because they don't have any special excretory system for regular excretion of all these waste materials. Then what happens to the waste material when the time comes? When the leaves are detached from plant body, when the bark is removed or when the flowers fall down like that, when the part, particular part gets separated from plant body, then the excretion of waste material occur. So comparing to all the animals, excretion in plants is very, very slow process because there is no special excretory system in plant. And here, in general in plants, two kinds of substances are formed during the metabolism. The substances are primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Two kinds of substances are formed in plant body during the metabolisms. As they are produced during the metabolisms, they are known as metabolites. Again, depending on the importance of all these substances, these are divided into primary metabolites and secondary metabolites. Primary, the word primary gives or it indicates the importance. It is very important to the plant. So the definition of primary metabolite is the substances which are essential for the growth and development of plant body are primary metabolites. Examples, carbohydrates, proteins and fats, these are primary metabolites. Why these are primary metabolites? During the process of photosynthesis, carbohydrates are formed, or proteins are formed, or fats are formed. All these are very much essential for survival of plant and even for the survival of other organisms too. So these, as these are very important, these substances are known as primary metabolites. And second one, secondary metabolites. Secondary metabolites means the substances which are not essential for the growth and development of plant body, they are called secondary metabolites. These secondary metabolites are of five kinds. They are alkaloids, tannins, resins, gums and latex. These are the five kinds of secondary metabolites produced as waste materials in plant body so that the plants store all these uh, substances in different parts. When the parts are separated from plant, then the waste material or all these alkaloids, tannins and resins and gums and latex, all these are eliminated out of plant body like this excretion occur in plant. But here, when the importance of all these secondary metabolites was identified by human beings, human beings started extraction of all these secondary metabolites from plant body and these are very extensively used in different purposes in day-to-day -day life activities of human beings. So, these secondary metabolites are actually the waste materials to the plants. But human beings identified the advantages 
from these secondary metabolites. So human beings started using these secondary metabolites for different purposes in regular activities. What are the uses or what are the benefits of all these secondary metabolites? We will see now. Alkaloids. Alkaloids are actually nitrogenous waste materials or nitrogenous waste products. But as these are very important for human beings, human beings as human beings identified the benefits of these alkaloids and the alkaloids are used for different purposes. The examples for alkaloids are quinine and nicotine, morphine, cocaine and caffeine. All these are the examples for alkaloids. And first of all quinine. Quinine is developed from or it is excreted from Cinchona officinalis and this is used as anti-malarial drug. And next one, nicotine. Nicotine is produced from Nicotiana tobacco, that means tobacco plant, and it is used as insecticide. And third one, morphine and cocaine. This morphine and cocaine are produced from Pepaver somniferum, that is opium plant, and these two alkaloids are used as painkillers. And next one, caffeine. Caffeine is an alkaloid that is developed from Caffia arabica plant and caffeine is used as especially it is used in coffee preparation of coffee and caffeine is used as stimulant of central nervous system like this all these are the waste materials to the plants but human beings are utilizing these waste materials for different purposes and next uh, if you come to the point tannins tannins are carbon waste products that means that they are made of carbon compounds especially they are used in tanning of leathers that means cleaning of leathers and uh, preparation of medicines the examples for tannins are casea and acacia and next one resins resins are also these are one kind of waste materials or secondary metabolites and they are extracted from gymnosperms the word gymnosperm means the plants in which the seeds are developed outside the fruit are gymnosperms in gymnosperms these uh, resins are produced these resins, especially the resins are examples for gymnosperm plants are Pinus and Cycus. In Pinus and Cycus, in these two plants, resins are produced. These resins are extracted out and these are used in the preparation of vernishes. And next one, gums. Gums also, example for secondary metabolites. Gums, generally, they absorb water. By absorbing water, they swell and they help in healing of the injured portion of plant body. When any pot is injured, at that injured pot, some gum is excreted or that is secreted. The gum receive water and swell and they help in preventing the entry of microorganisms and dust particles or any foreign material into the plant body so that they help in healing of the wound or any damaged part of the plant body. Example for gums, acacia and neem. The gums extracted from acacia and neem plants that is used as binding agent or that is used as adhesives. And next one, latex. Latex is a white, sticky, milky white substance and the latex also excreted in the plants like Hevia brasiliensis and Calotropis and Jatropa carcass. In these plants, a milky white substance is secreted. That milky white substance is known as latex. And from the latex of these plants, human beings identified the importance of latex of these plants so that the latex is used for different purposes. The latex produced from Hevia brasiliensis that is used in the preparation of rubber. And also the latex of Jatropa carcass uh, that is used in the preparation of biodiesel like this actually these alkaloids tannins resins gums and latex all these are waste materials produced during the metabolisms of plants these waste materials are secondary metabolites but as the importance was identified by human beings all these are being extracted from the plant and these are being used for different purposes in day-to-day -day life of human activities like these plants do excrete waste materials but not regularly as there is no special excretory system they excrete the waste material very very slow they store all the waste material in different pots and when the pots get separated from plant body then waste material are eliminated or the wastes are eliminated or removed out of the plant body this is excretion in plants